The world's coral reefs are home to millions of marine organisms and supply over one billion people with food and other vital resources. Corals are animals related to sea anemones and jellyfishes and depend on microscopic algae to stay healthy and keep building the important reef structure. Being heavily sensitive to water temperature, human-driven events such as climate change make corals expel their microscopic partners and die. That phenomenon is called bleaching and is happening all over the world. To tackle this complex coral problem, scientists at the Red Sea Research Center are using a simpler system with a unique model organism to provide insights into how corals function. Meet Aptasia. Aptasia is a widespread non-complex sea anemone, but unlike corals, it can be easily grown and kept in the lab. Since Aptasia survives with or without its algal partners, or symbionts, researchers can use this ability to study numerous biological processes and better characterize how these animals can adapt to changing conditions. As Aptasia is more and more characterized by us and other groups across the world, our aim is to establish this anemone as a new model system for coral studies, similar to what has happened to mice in the biomedical field. We believe that the use of Aptasia as a model system will help us make huge leaps in our base of knowledge of how corals and their symbionts live together. By studying Aptasia, researchers hope to better understand how corals function in terms of temperature resistance, mechanisms of bleaching, and symbiosis establishment between corals and algae. A little anemone can certainly tell us quite a lot about coral biology. This is one of the many research efforts being done to better understand and preserve these beautiful, resource-rich, and diverse systems that, although struggling, can still be saved with a little science.